Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Wilson, co-founder of Yes Insights here. We're a platform that allows you to get more customer feedback so you can take the guesswork out of guessing what your users really want, what they're into. And in this video, I'm going to cover a very simple topic, how you can get more scalable feedback from your new users that sign up to your app or to your course, to your product. And I'll be going over a couple case studies along with some strategies that you can use and different methods that you can use to actually get feedback so that you can learn more about your users and make better business decisions, such as coming up with growth strategies or creating a better product roadmap. Well, let's get this thing started. So let's go over a couple of reasons why you want to get user feedback, right? So let's say you're building a new product and you're validating this product. You're coming up with a new feature you think customers want, but you actually don't know that. So uh, what happens is that when I was running growth at a couple of venture back startups, I was guessing. My whole team was guessing, which is not a great way to, to kind of build the next features because you think users might like this feature or you, you hear from one or two of your users, but you don't know the majority of users. That's why it's very important to get these user feedback and put it into your product roadmap so you can actually come up with better business decisions as well as creating a better product overall and achieve product market fit, right? The next thing that's very important is that user feedback can actually lead to better user retention. So a lot of times, you get these people that opt out of your, your email list or they end up um, not converting into being a paid user. This happens all the time with SaaS companies. And a lot of times you just don't know why, right? So what's the best way to do it? Talk to your customers, get their feedback, see what they're actually liking about your product, what they don't like, uh, what they want to see and what they don't want to see. And that will help you increase user retention, which will help you in the long run for building the best product, right? Uh, another thing about user feedback is that it will really, really help when it comes to creating a new feature. So you know what time, what, what you want to invest more in, you know, time is a very important thing when it comes to startup, right? We, we have to spend our time marketing. We have to spend our time doing a lot of different things at once, and you don't want to waste time or your resources, especially when hiring is so expensive. So with good user feedback, you can actually generate a really good uh, product roadmap for your next upcoming features. And the next thing, of course, is being able to survey your customers and create new marketing strategies. Um, a lot of times you just don't know which growth strategy is working, which isn't. And sometimes asking simple questions such as, uh, what do you hear about us? Or um, what do you like most about this product? Or what problem are you trying to solve with this product? Those simple, simple, simple questions that you can ask in the very beginning when the user is in the trial phase will allow you to come up with marketing strategies. For example, if they said that they heard from you from a guest blog, you know that's a strategy that you can double down on, right? So you can come up with more and more feedback. And sometimes, for example, for us at Yes Insights, we had a hard time figuring out who our ideal customer is because anybody can use service, anybody can use a customer feedback platform. But being able to narrow down our focus to the specific roles and titles that people um, will be using from, from uh, specific companies, we'll be able to know exactly who should we be marketing to, how we should be crafting our blog posts and creating better content or more valuable content for those specific type of people. And of course, user feedback will allow you to convert, convert more users because you're creating a better user experience, you're creating better user engagement, so it's very important. So I'm gonna start diving into strategies and some case studies. Uh, the first case study is a company called Notify. They're a tech stars company, and my co-founder Lenny was a part of this. So Notify wanted to narrow down the focus of the ideal person to market their engagement platform to. Um, basically, they're a customer engagement platform, and one of the hardest thing is that same thing with Yes Insights is that they have everybody that can use the product. Product managers can use it, marketers can use it, uh, founders can use it. So who do we actually market this product to? And there was no way for them to find out. So what was their go-to solution? They wanted to create a survey that would be able to figure out the actionable feedbacks, create a better product roadmap, build the features for those specific type of people. And they decided to go with the survey option because they didn't want to waste any more time. So this is exactly how the survey looks like that they created. As soon as the person signs up, uh, they will be prompted to this page right here, and then they will be um, asked to enter the role. So uh, if they uh, they click on the drop down box, they'll be able to see different roles like, oh, I'm a founder, I'm a product manager. And that way, 
uh, the company is able to kind of narrow down their focus and see what the majority users is, right? So after the person answers the survey and they get enough response, they go into the analytics, they go into the data and they look, oh, it seems like most of the people that sign up for our app are marketers. So let's start crafting more ebooks, start crafting more white paper and writing more content related to marketers so we can actually make the best product that marketers actually want and stop focusing on the, the less majority of the signups. So right after somebody takes a survey, this is exactly what they see in their email. Um, and then it goes through a series of questions. Of course, this is more like a deep dive survey where it goes like, oh, are you interested in transactional emails? Are you an interested in behavioral emails? Interested in digest? What are you interested in? And that way they can narrow down their focus and create the feature that people uh, actually really want. So it seems like from the majority of results in this specific case that they're interested in transactional emails. So then, then you'll be able to narrow down, okay, maybe it's the customer success type of marketers that need it within the transactional emails um, to create like this, uh, to use the engagement platform. So this is some of the, um, the things that Notify receive from the survey and the feedbacks that they receive from the survey. From the survey, they were able to figure out what users really wanted to do with their product. This is super important because a lot of times you're just guessing, like I said before. And with this, they're able to figure out that, oh, the majority of users wanted to use us for the transactional emails. So now they can market the product based on that. Um, they're able to provide a better support to the new signups, right? So all these new users sign up and a lot of times you don't know what to put in your educational emails because being able to educate your users through newsletters and emails is very important. But you don't want to be sending like a marketer, uh, like a product management guide or the best tools for product management. Instead, you probably want to be sending more like, oh, you know, a top 10 tools for marketers. And eventually they, they discovered, because of the survey, they were able to discover that one of the features that they spent a lot of time on building was actually not something that the users want. So this is some of the very important feedbacks that they were able to get from just running such a simple survey. And one of the biggest problems um, with running that type of survey was that it took up way too many resources to create a survey like that. So they actually uh, hired an uh, in-house team, uh, I mean, uh, offshore team of developers as well as UX people to help put together the survey, which was terrible and super time consuming, right? So what did they want to do? They wanted an easier method, an easier solution where they can still get the same value out of the survey, but um, without wasting all these resources and money and, and, you know, time is everything when it comes to startup, right? Time is your most important asset. So um, what did they do? There's different options that you can do, and this is a strategy that you can use when it comes to uh, you know, creating surveys. One of the most important thing is, well, strategy number one is ask an open-ended question in your on onboarding email. So this is exactly what they did. It's a great way to get feedback and it requires no additional tools aside from just whatever you're using to send your email, right? So you can be um, using Gmail and as simple as just going to your customer list, pulling out somebody, and pretty much being able to just send them an email with an open-ended question. And the question that they sent was, hi there, I see you just signed up for a private beta. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Namely, how big is your company? What do you do? Uh, how do you hope to use Relay? Relay is one of the products that they created at Notify and that sort of thing. Because this will help us build something valuable uh, for you and looking forward to hear from you, thanks. Now, I don't recommend asking this many questions in a simple email because what it does is that uh, it makes the users have to think a lot and they have to type up a reply and hit reply. But asking something is better than not doing anything at all. It's better than guessing. So always, always ask your customers questions and start talking to your customers. But this was a great start, right? Um, one of the biggest takeaway from this is that they were asking open-ended questions. So it's not questions where they just answer with like a yes or no, but more of a thing where people can actually leave a longer reply and response so that you can learn more about them. So this was a response that they received and the response goes like, hey, we're a web SaaS uh, product that launched last year. We're gearing up our marketing and sales operation. As, as the product continues to grow, we use Segment. You know, that's how they discover Notify through Segment. We're also heavy Slack users and a bunch of our integrations or analytics 
with other systems is all integrated within Slack. You know, we're a small crew, 13 people, but the app is pretty data heavy and rich in analytics, which is why we're always looking for new ways to explore. What's so great about this response? It's straightforward, it's right to the point. They gave them the feedback that they need. They knew exactly how big the team was, what's the ideal type of team that, that Notify should be marketing to. They were able to gather all this feedback and put it into use, right? And another great thing is that this guy is a potential customer because he actually took the time to answer your email. That means he already put in his, his own time and resource to just write up this email. That's super important. They're committed, right? And then what you what Notify can do from here is that they can actually continue the conversation, turn them into a customer, and nurture them with more educational products, more towards their buyer persona, right? And now, what's the downside of this? The downside is that it's a super low response rate because, as I said before, from a psychological or user experience perspective, they have to write up the email, hit reply, and they have to think about how to answer the questions. And another bad thing is that they're not using a third-party uh, survey software where they can actually track all the data in place, uh, export results, segment their users. So it's very, very single hard. Now here's a pro tip to get a higher response rate, use an email address from a person as opposed to a team. So you don't want something like contact at notify.com. Instead, use something like Lenny from yesinsights.com uh, or you know Lenny at notify.io, which was what he was representing at that time. Uh, the second strategy that you can use is ask open-ended questions with a chat widget. So at first, we already talked about the power of using open-ended questions because it actually gets more response and you can actually kind of segment people based on how long the response is, right? So you want passionate buyers. You want the people that talk a lot and you want people that leave a long response because those are the ones that are willing to give feedback. So they're probably the ones that are already looking into your app and most likely become a potential user that will give you more value over time, right? Uh, if you're using like an in-app chat widget like Intercom, which we use and a lot of our customers use uh, for the support for the drip emails, it's a great way for you to embed a survey directly into this Intercom widget because Intercom sends out, trig uh, sends out trigger emails. So you can send out like, oh, uh, you know, there's three days left in your trial, or you can send out emails to people who only use your apps like more than five times. You can kind of segment this and send out these um, in-app surveys that will pop up within their application, within your application when they're using it, and you will get so many higher response rates because it's a triggered email and it's already right there because they're already using your app, right? Um, another thing you can do is schedule like sales calls directly within the app, which I'll show you a screenshot of how some uh, one of our customers do it with with Intercom in the next couple slides. So here is the picture that I was telling you about. On the left side, you see Sujin Patel. He runs contentmarketer.io. And in here is a triggered email when somebody signs up, right? And then he's, he uh, asks them, hey, need any help with contentmarketer.io? Let's talk. Schedule a call here with me. That way you can pick up the phone and start talking to your customers, getting their actual feedback, and start digging their brain about what they really want to be able to see within your app or what they're trying to get out of your app, where they hear about you, et cetera, et cetera. Your, your questions can go wild. Make sure you ask the correct questions, though, but um, this is a great way to do it and just get people on the phone, right? The second uh, picture that you see on the right is... Uh, Nicole, one of their customer support that works at Intercom, and it goes, Hi Lenny, I see you signed up for Intercom recently. How is the process signing up and integrating Intercom with your site or app? Is there anything we can do to make it easier? We'd love to know your thoughts. It's a great way to just start talking to your customers, generating a conversation, and getting things done, getting into the head of your customer, and start building that relationship, start developing that trust. The third strategy you can use is embed a one-click survey into your chat widget so this goes back to you know using intercom or drift or whatever chat widget you're using or even just a basic email service provider like sendgrid your own in-house or whatever app you're using to um to to actually talk to your customers uh, a multiple choice question is a great option if you're looking for more of like feedbacks where People don't have to think and they can just give you a response right away, right? So PicoChart is one of our uh, active customers and we love them. They love us. They use this insights with, right within the intercom. And I'll show you a picture of this in the next slide. But they get 75% response rate on every survey that they send out. This is a super high survey. Think about all those times you're sending these surveys from SurveyMonkey or, uh, I don't know, SurveyGizmo or something like that. And guess what? 
you want the feedback. Everybody knows the power of surveys, but the problem is that there's so low response rates, and that's why people abandon survey, and that's why survey gets such a bad rep. But when you're doing it within a chat widget and you're doing it with one-click surveys where the users doesn't have to think, they don't have to hit reply, they don't have to go to an external link just to fill out some long form, you will get your responses and people are more than happy to leave additional comments into it, right? Uh, th and this is all just because of responding to a multiple choice question takes so less effort compared to such a long survey, right? So here's a pro tip for you guys. One-click surveys work best if it's clear to a user which response they should choose. Oftentimes, if there isn't one of your users will ignore it, or worse, pick one that doesn't apply and give you faulty data. So please do your research beforehand and make sure the responses you supply make sense. So you always want to give them answers that they're already thinking about. For example, you can ask them something very straightforward like, what's something that you hate most about email marketing? Give them a few options to click from it and all they have to do is just click on the response that relates most to them and they can uh, go to a, a custom landing page where they can fill out more information if they want to leave additional comments. But just being able to provide those multiple choice for them will allow them to um, not have to really think and be able to give you a clear response on the feedback. So here's the picture that I said I was going to show you guys. This is the exact same question that Pickle Chart uh, sends out to the customers inside Intercom. And, it, and it's just a very simple question. What do you use Pickle Chart most for? For school and academic use, for personal use, for work or internship, and thanks for being awesome. You know, again, being very nice, being very uh, delighting the customer. And right afterwards, so when you're creating a survey within Yes Insights, you have the option to create a custom landing page afterwards that will prompt them to um, leave additional comments if they wish. And what's, the, what's so good about this thing is that they actually get 25% additional comments for the response rate from the landing page. And of course, the first one right here gets 75% uh, click-through rate for just you know, just a simple survey. It's a one-click survey and it works. People don't have to think and they're more than willing to help you out and provide you with feedbacks. Now, the fourth strategy is use a one-click survey in your onboarding emails. So let's say you're not using Intercom. Let's say you're, you're, you created a course or you're selling an e-commerce product or you're, maybe you're just a blog, right? Um, and you don't have the money to invest in all these onboarding tools or intercom chat widgets. Well, simple. You're communicating with your customers. You're sending out email already. You're sending them welcome emails. You're sending them thank you emails. Might as well include a survey into these emails. While in-app messages are awesome and they work really well, and I actually highly recommend it, but a lot of times, you know, you just don't reach them on the first time, right? People miss your message or like for me, sometimes I get what they call like a, like a ad blind kind of thing, right? I see these little widgets pop up, but I close it right away and I end up not clicking on a response even though I do want to provide feedback for the company, right? So what do you do? You send a follow-up email and you put your product back into awareness and if they do respond, it's a signal that they're probably already engaged and they're, they're already using your product, they love it and they're more than willing to provide feedback, right? It's super good for a first impression, so you can send like a welcome email. Hey, welcome. Thanks for signing up. My name is Wilson, co-founder of Yes Insights. Uh, we built this product for this and this and this, but we would love to know what problem you're struggling with right now that we can solve. You know, again, provide them with the response through multiple choice uh, with a simple one-click survey and kind of gauge their brain, start talking to them, generate a conversation, and start creating that relationship with your customer from day one, even if they're just on trial. That way you can lead to a higher trial to pay conversion. So this is the exact onboarding email that we use at Yes Insights. So my co-founder Lenny will introduce himself. Hey, I'm Lenny. I'm one of the co-founders at Yes Insights and I would love to thank you for signing up. We started Yes Insights with one simple idea to make surveys quick and painless for your customers to answer. You'll be delighted at the number of responses you get on your first survey. Now, if you have a second, we're very curious about how you found us. Where do you first hear about Yes Insights? Boom, we provided the stuff for them. We provided the answers for them so that they don't have to think and they can just click on the response and this is directly sent to the email inbox. So it's not within Intercom, even though it does show up in Intercom as well, but this is the first email that they actually get from us, right? Um, this question is very important for us because it allows us to figure out which channel is working for us. Uh, in terms of marketing side, so we can come up with more marketing strategies to double down on that channel. 
and it allows us to figure out for example if they're already using a competitor maybe they came from a competitor's website then we know that uh, we can talk to them we can send them a personal email follow up with them and see hey what made you try us you know what made you feel that uh, we're better than than the competitors or are you just giving us a try or are you validating both options right now then that way we can send them more educational content in uh during throughout our drip emails for the trial course in in hopes to convert them into paying users and becoming a long-term lifetime customer right and what do we get from this result we get 60 percent response rate from everyone that opened this email this is not with the intercom this is the email that they opened up and still more than 60 percent of the people do it because they don't have to think and it's it's just in there. It's very straightforward, and we uh, were, we gave them a personal introduction. We gave them a story. Uh, we're sharing our thoughts as well as, as trying to help them and provide the best customer feedback solution for them. The conclusion of this is when you can collect feedback from your users consistently, you know if you're building the business in the right direction. You know if you're achieving your goals and hitting that product market fit. So experiment with the different methods that I just mentioned in this entire video and find the right combination that works for you. You know, get creative with it. Come up with different questions to ask. Maybe you want to ask them how disappointed would you feel if uh, our service shut down. This will allow you to figure out if you really hit that part of, the mar part of market fit. This will allow you to figure out how much customers really like you. You know, or maybe send them a, a net promoter score survey, an NPS survey, and ask them how likely are you to recommend us to your friends. That way you know if they're really going to do it. And you can use the auto follow-up feature to trigger them a referral code if, they, if they're a promoter. You know, if they select a very high score in net promoter score. As soon as you find a process for collecting high quality feedback from your customers on a regular basis, make this a standard product practice. So do it all the time. Talk to your customers as much as you can. Get the user feedback from them as much as you can because this is super important and it will help you grow your product, gain more users in the long run, get more referrals, and you know, user retention is always the best user acquisition strategy. It will be pouring money into user acquisition any single day. So talk to your customers and make sure you take all those feedbacks into use. So again, uh, I'm co-founder of Yes Insights. My name is Wilson Peng. Uh, yes Insights is a platform that allows you to just create one-click surveys or net promoter score surveys. We also have a website widget that allows you to gain feedback from your visitors and you know even collect their emails. So you can make better business decisions so you will know what to write next for example you're a content marketing manager or you're just coming up with uh, ramping up your blogs and you just don't know what to write well what's the better way to do it you know talk to your customers what would they want to read right so you take the guesswork out of knowing what your customers actually want and need our plans start at $20 a month which comes with every option that I just mentioned a uh, one-click service NPS service as well as website widget you can sign up directly at yesinsights.com we have a free trial so feel free to explore multiple options. We're very happy that we have competitors. We know this is a very tough space, especially in the customer feedback and survey platforms, but that's why we offer a free trial and we'll be more than happy to walk you through the process and come up with the best use cases and survey questions that you can use to um, boost your conversions, increase user retention, increase user engagement, and learn more about your users. You can follow me on Twitter at WilsonPang8, or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Wilson at YesInsights.com. Check out YesInsights.com, sign up and give us a try. I really appreciate it, and thank you for your time.